Um, now I have the privilege to introduce Swami Ramakrishnananda ji. Um, I guess Swami ji does not need any introduction, but I will try to uh, say a few things about Swami ji. Swami ji is the resident Acharya of uh, Nagapattinam in Tamil Nadu uh, for the Chinmaya mission there. Uh, Swami ji has given us several discourses in the past. Uh, the first one I remember was in person, uh, Krishna, the CEO. Uh, subsequently, he has given two more Gnana Yagnas, uh, one on leadership skills from Ramayana, and the other one was from uh, Art of Detachment. And this is our fourth Gnana Yagna with Swami Ramakrishnanandaji, and this is about Avadhuta Gita. Um, Swamiji is not only um, a resident Acharya, but he has uh, so much... Uh, knowledge in Sanskrit language. He has developed several easy Sanskrit courses at, for different levels of students. Um, he's the authority on Ramayanam, and he has uh, given several discourses on Ramayanam. Uh, the, the most important feature of Swamiji's discourses is he's so humorous that uh, the last time when we were listening to his discourses, we couldn't st stop laughing. He, he makes all this tough concepts of Vedanta in a, such a humorous way that you would never forget them. Um, so I don't want to take too much time. I just want to give you, uh, so every day starting today, 7.45 to 8 p.m. are bhajans by Swaranjali group. Uh, from 8 to 9 p.m., uh, we have Swamiji's discourse and 9 to 9.15, we have a Q&A session. Uh, just on the last day on Thursday, uh, from 7.45 to 8 p.m., instead of bhajans, we are planning to give a virtual tour of our new Shiva temple, Amareshwara temple, um, So and followed by uh, the discourse on that day. Uh, but without uh, much more delay, I would like Swamiji to start the discourse. Swamiji? Hari Om. <coughs> Hari Om. Um, so, no need to... Uh... Spotlight me. I need to have this gallery. Gallery view. Ariyom. Hello. <laughs> Ariyom. Ah, support me in gallery view. Hariyom Swamiji, I think it is in gallery mode now. Are you able to see it? Hariyom? Hariyom Swamiji? Hari Om Swamiji, are you, able, are you able to see the gallery view now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So no, no need to ch change this, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Swamiji. Yeah, so I want to see our people. <laughs> Otherwise, spotted, I will see myself. That is not needed. <laughs> okay, shall we start? Ah. <laughs> ओम अकर्तुंड महाकाय सूर्य कोटि समप्रभा निर्विग्नम कुरुमे देवा सर्वकारी ईश्वर सर्वदा सदा शिव समारंभाम शंकरा चारि मध्यमा मस्मदा चारि पर्यंताम वंदे गुरु परंपराम व्यासाय विष्णु रूपाय व्यास रूपाय विष्णवे नमो वै ब्रह्मण देय वासिष्ठाय नमो नमः हरिओम हरिओम So Bhagavan Vaidav Vyasa has written 18 Puranas. <coughs> he brought the idea of uh, Vedas in the 18 Puranas. Through stories, entertainment, and all kinds of rasas, navarasas he brought. 
through Navarasas, he brought the Vedic ideas. The 18 Puranas. We do not have time to read even one Purana. That is a beauty. We take only one Purana in this life to complete it. So we have to take the Sankal. At least one Purana we have to read. That is Bhagavadam. So Bhagavad Purana is the last Purana he has written. <coughs> he compiled four Vedas and written Mahabharata. And he has written 18 Puranas. 17 Puranas he wrote and he was not satisfied. Even though he has done so much of work, not getting satisfaction. Then Narada Magrishi came and he inspired or Bhagavan Veda Vyasa. You have done so many granthas to tell about what is dharma and what is adharma. And you have to write one complete grantha to speak about devotion. Bhakti grantha you have to write. So Bhagavan Veda Vyasa understood and he um, composed the bhakti grantha, the greatest uh, bhakti purana, that is Srimad Bhagavad. In this Bhagavad, we find all the avatars of Lord Vishnu, particularly avatar of Krishna is explained elaborately in this Purana. After writing the Bhagavad Purana, he got complete satisfaction. Yes, my avatar has completed. Bhagavan Vedavyasa's avatara, uh, he has taken as um, guru avatar, teacher. So he didn't take any sangha, chakra, or asi to kill Rakshasas. So he was fighting with all negative values of a human being through the scriptures. You study the scriptures, you will uh, remove all your negative thoughts in your mind. So he has taken the Guru Avatara and he has done his job in his uh, Avatara. Bhagavan Vedavyasa. Veda Vedavyasa is the root of Sanatana Dharma. If Vedavyasa is not, there is no Sanatana Dharma now. So all over the world, people are following Sanatana Dharma because of Bhagavan Veda Vyasa. So on Bhagavan Veda Vyasa's text only, many Acharyas appeared and they wrote commentary on those uh, texts. So in that way, our Mula Guru, the Adi Gurus, Bhagavan Veda Vyasa, so 18 Puranas, the 18th Purana he has written, 18 Purana, the 18th, the last one is Bhagavadam. The Bhagavadam has got 12 cantos. 12 big subjects, big uh, divisions. In Mahabharata, the division is called Parva. In Ramayana, the big division is called <coughs> Kanda. Balakanda, Ayodhya Ghat. Here, the big division is called Skanda. So, there are 12 Skandas in Srimad Bhagavata. Adhigar Skanda, Sadhana Skanda, Sarga, Visarga, Sthanam, Poshanam, Motaya, Manvantara, Ishanukata, Nirodha, Mukti, Ashraya. So, Mukti Skanda is called the 11th canto, Ekadasa Skanda. Nirodha, the 10th canto explains about Lord Krishna's story, so elaborately, so elaborate. So, before his avatara, and the, during the avatara time also, powerful description, elaborate description. So, those who want to study uh, of our Lord Krishna, then you can take up the Nirodha, the 10th uh, Skanda, Dasama Skanda. After finishing his avatar, he started teaching. He started giving his teachings. So Mukti Skanda, almost 90 percentage, is a message of Vedanta. Message of the essence of Vedanta is kept in Mukti Skanda. Different, different teachings. Different, different conversation. Very nicely he brought Bhagavan Veda Vyasa through Lord Krishna. So Mukti Skanda, the name itself says that when we study Mukti Skanda, when we reflect Mukti Skanda, we will get Mukti, that's all. Therefore, the Skanda is called Mukti. Hitva Anyata Rupam Swarupene Vyavasthiti. The definition for Mukti is given in Bhagavad Mitzal. Hitva Anyata Rupam. So our Anyata Rupam, what is our Anyata Rupam? Body. So we imagine that this body is me. Not imagine. Confirmed. Who are you? <laughs> Look at me. Who are you? <laughs> How much I studied? Who are you? I cannot tell about myself because that shows my ego. I will ask someone to explain about me. <laughs> Who are you? 
I am this body, I am this mind. I have very good mind, nice mind, nice values, filled with nice values. Intelligent fellow. Who? Me only. Humbly I am telling <laughs> about myself. Sadhisarala anyata rupa. Our body is anyata rupa, mind, intellect, all this. So we are identifying with anyata rupa and we are getting into problem. So we want to maintain that body, mind and intellect throughout life. And we are comparing with other people. So when you compare with other people, I am better. I should be better always. So we try to maintain whole life. Our scriptures are telling, this is our, this are all your anyatha rupam hittva. Give up the identification of the body, mind and intellect. Then you understand your own sarupa. You abide in your own sarupa. Hittva anyatha rupam sarupena vyavasthiti mukti. So we have to attain our original state. How? Through study, reflection and contemplation. So first we have to study. To study uh, the information about the Vedas, we have to listen. Therefore, we have to listen. Few uh, the message of Vedanta through Muktiskanda. Okay? Now we are entering into Muktiskanda. Muddhava Gita. Muktiskanda Mostly the, the conversation between Uddhava and Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna has given Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna in the battlefield. Uh, Arjuna was there and we know very well that he confused, fell down. Started giving his own argument, powerful argument, because he studied. If he's a Buddha person, he will not have argument <laughs> to bring. Buddha, he doesn't know. Because Arjuna is very much learned person. He brought all his argument. He wants to establish, I am right. Yeah, this is the problem of the learned person. If the person learns, then he will bring all kinds of argument. You cannot argue with. It's very difficult to conquer that fellow. Arjuna brings all his argument. Oh, <coughs> complete the first chapter. First you have to listen from which platform he is talking. Ar Krishna was noticing Arjuna. <laughs> For a Mary, he is bringing all the argument. So he is compromising his weakness as his strength. Then Krishna understood, started uh, blasting him like anything. This is not the compassion of your heart. This is Daurubalim, Durubalatada. Whom you are talking? You are talking Lord Krishna <laughs> to Lord Krishna. I know more than you. Then he started blasting. And he brought him in right light. Ask him to do karma. Hey Arjuna, na karma naam anarambat naish karmyam purushoshnote nacha sanyasana deva siddhim samadhi gachati. If you want to reach the sanyasa state, if you want to reach, uh, if you want to get knowledge, self-knowledge, you have to do karma. Almost all of us, not almost, all of us, uh, even, I'm not giving even one percentage also, all of us, eligible to fight in the battlefield like Arjuna. Therefore, our Gurudev brought Bhagavad Gita for us. Why? Puro Janma Samskara so much. Once if you do our karma without attaching with the fruits of action, then our mind is getting cleaned. Then we are eligible to get Brahma Vidya. Then we listen, we reflect, we contemplate, we reach. Okay? So the preparation aspect is called Karma Yoga. <laughs> Once with the karma yoga is over, then we have to get the knowledge. Now here, another student, Uddhava. So Uddhava is a highly uh, elevated student. Very high, high class student. High class students means what? So he has done all his karma, is cleaned. Now he is ready to get knowledge. Brahma with the ascites. So all the, uh, the discussions, the message Lord Krishna has given to him is sannyas only. So Uddhava is a very high class and he already cleaned. The next stage student. Arjuna is a beginner. Uddhava is what that? Advanced student. Therefore Krishna started giving him all kinds of higher knowledge. So it doesn't mean that uh, Bhagavad Gita is lower knowledge. Huh? <laughs> it is not like that. Bhagavad Gita also is giving the Brahma Vidya, but it, it, it recommends more for karma. Here, he is not telling you how to do karma. You have to drop everything, get out. So in Bhagavad Gita, karma is focused. The insistence 
is more on karma. Here, you have to drop and get out. I hope you are getting the difference between uh, the teachings between for Arjuna and for our Uddhava. Okay. Now, therefore, here, Bhagavan Krishna brought Abhadud Gita, Bhikshu Gita, Aila Gita, Hamsa Gita, all Gitas are very high level. She was not asking him to do karma. You drop karma, you drop whatever small, small attachment you have, you drop it and get out. Go to Himalayas. Actually, there Arjuna wanted to go to Himalayas. Krishna said, hey, no, no. Drop all your Rudrakshas. <laughs> drop all your Kashaya Vastar. Take Gandiva. Bone air. Start working. So he was not recommending that. Arjuna is beginner. So Arjuna is not, so we cannot say like that. So Arjuna represents all of us. He is Avatar Purusha of um, Indra. I hope you are getting the background of Arjuna and Uddhava. So Uddhava is giving the higher teachings. There are so many uh, Gitas are given to Uddhava. Bhikshu Gita, Hamsa Gita, Abhadud Gita, Aila Gita, so many Gitas. All Gitas put together is called Uddhava Gita. The teachings of Krishna towards Uddhava. Okay, now we are going to study Abhadud Gita. Abhadud Gita. Abhadud Gita is none other than Dattatraya. Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, all these three motis together, it's called Dattadraya. But as far as this Bhagavadam is concerned, Dattadraya is Vishnu avatar. He has got Amsha of Lord Brahma and Rudra. So Dattadraya is none other than the Avaduta, or Avaduta is Dattadraya. Avaduta means what? So you will not say it in one place. Uh, wandering uh, monk. The realized wandering monk is called Avaduta, Avaduta Stiti. So one more character in uh, Bhagavadam, we find in fifth, fifth, scan, fifth canto of Bhagavadam. So that is Jadabharata. Jadabharata also is like Avaduta. Realized must. You will not stay in one place. Rome, all over the world, Avaduta. So he is giving the teachings to one uh, king. That king is called Yaduraja. So we are going to see the discussion between Avaduta and Yaduraja. So the Avaduta and Yaduraja conversation is given to Uddhava by Lord Krishna. Are you getting the point? So the direct conversation is between Avaduta and King Yadu. So this was happened once upon a time. Oh, Uddhava, I am going to... Uh, give you this teachings to you. This is what Krishna says. Okay? Now, Uddhava Vacha, Uddhava, the final, the end of Avatara. Now, Krishna is going to complete his Avatara. <laughs> 125 years, more than 125 years, Krishna lived. At the end of Dwapara, Dwapara Yuga. When the moment Krishna left this, you, uh, this earth, that moment, Kali Yuga started. 5,000 years back. So Krishna has completed his avatar and sitting under Pippala tree, Ashwatat. So he is going to disappear his farm, or Krishna's beautiful farm. At that time, Uddhava came and had Darshan. He was a great devotee of Lord Krishna. He was minister of Lord Krishna, actually speaking. So Uddhava had Darshan of Krishna. Oh Krishna, now you, I think that you, you started moving to your abode. Parandam, please take me also with you. This is what Uddhava asked. Generally, any devotee will ask like that one. Uddhava, please take me. Krishna told her, no, 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 this time I'm not taking, going to take anyone. In Ramavatara, I took all the people, those who followed me, I took them through Sarayu River, I took them to Vaikunda Loka. So in that avatar, I took everybody. In Krishna avatar, I will finish everything, everyone, including my family members also. Finished. In Musalapar, Mausalapar, in Mahabharata, we can see how he finished his own claim, the dynasty. Uddhava, so I am not going to take anyone in this avatar. I am alone going. So you go to Himalayas, there you do tapas and you reach me through tapas. 
This is instruction to Uddhava. And Uddhava started asking some questions. He wanted to prolong the time of Lord Krishna. I want to be with you for some time. <laughs> if you want to be with someone, you will ask unnecessary questions. <laughs> Why? I am not interested in question and answer. I want to be with you. And that person also will understand. He is asking unnecessary question. Why? So he wants to be with me. Therefore, it is not like that. Our um, Uddhava is not asking unnecessary question. He is asking necessary question. Important question. By asking question, he is getting information. At the same time, he is, getting, he is spending more time with Lord Krishna. Two purposes are solved. Okay, he started asking questions. <laughs> Yogesha Yoga Vinyasa Yoga Atma Yoga Sambhava Nishraya Sayame Prokta Toya Sanyasa Lakshana. The discussion was going on. So you are asking me to renounce everything and go to Himalayas. He says, the renunciation is very difficult. Tyagaha, me proktaha, tyagaha, sanyasa lakshana, nishraya nishraya sayam, nishraya means to reach uh, Brahman, to get moksha. May Praktaha Tyaga Sanya selection is very difficult to follow. And he's asking, you are Yogesha, Yoga Vinyasa, Yoga Atma, Yoga Sambhava. Yogeshwara Krishna. So you told about Sanyasa. That is very good. Tyago Yam Dushkara Bhuman Kama Nam Vishayatan. The person who is having uh, taste for sense pleasures. Kamanam Vishayatma Bihi, Sutaram Toyi Sarvatman Na Abaktaihi, Iti Me Matihi. The person who doesn't have bhakti towards you, the person is having too much of attachment to pleasure. For him, Tyaga or Sanyasa is very, very difficult. Uddhava himself says, So we are telling that it's very difficult to practice Sanyasa. Many times said. When we say it is very difficult to practice sannyasa, we are very right. Why? Kama nam vishayatma vihi. There is more interest for sense pleasure. Abhaktaihi. No devotion to the Lord. There is no devotion to the Lord and devotion to the sense objects. Then sannyasa will not come. Simple. <laughs> when we take our mind from sense pleasure and when we fit our mind towards the Lord, sannyasa is easy. Simple. Are you getting the point? Simple then. So we are completely detaching ours from the Lord, attaching ours from the pleasure. No sannyas. <laughs> when we detach ourselves from pleasures and we attach with the Lord, then sannyas is easy. A simple formula. Vishayatma bihi tyago him dushkaraha. Tyaga is very difficult. Iti be mati, I think. This is, uh, I, I think like that. Memati is my opinion. Uh, our Uddhava says, Shri Bhagavan Vacha. Yes, you are right. Whenever um, the devotee says something, Krishna will say, Yes, you are right. He was teaching Arjuna. Arjuna says, It's very difficult to control mind. You are right. Asamshaya Mahabaho. Mano Durni Graham Chala. I understand you are very good, Arjuna. It's difficult to control mind. But Abhyasayanath Kaunte, Vairagya Nachagrihyati. I accept. It's very difficult to control mind, but by practice, by detachment, I think you can bring your mind under your control. This is a, the brilliant method of uh, teaching. Just you have to accept. Immediately, any meeting, if you say, I don't agree with, they will get angry. Sir, I don't agree with your point. Huh? That's all. You are finished. <laughs> so <laughs> that person will start smashing your idea. So you should not agree. So I will agree with you. 100% you are right. I see you go satisfied. Huh? Somebody said to agree with my, my opinion. I agree with you, but <laughs> then you are not uh, disagreeing. You are not agreeing with this. So you start disagreeing with his points. So Krishna also in that style. I agree, Arjuna, but it's, it's possible that. I agree. It's not, it's not. It's difficult to control the mind, but it's possible. Yeah, Krishna. Yeah, it's difficult to get sannyas, but it's possible. So Krishna starts his teaching here. Yeka dvi trita chatushpata bahupada bahupada tata apada. 
in this creation you see uddhava ekapada dvipada tripada chatushpada bahupada apada there are jivas with different legs number of legs ekapada legs are dvipad v only a chimpanzee also dvipada only so we are <laughs> chimpanzee is coming in our category human being category ekapada dvipada tripada so three legs four chatushpada all animals bahupada like bahupada means um spider and all so many legs apada the snakes they, they do not have the pada it has got its own pada but when you when we see there is no pada for snakes and apada bahvya sandhi pura srishta there are so many jivas like that i created pura srishta i created tasame paurushi priya among all the jivas the created jivas paurushi me priya the human being is very dear to me what krishna says okay the human body is a dearest to me human is always great krishna himself says among all created things all created living beings human beings very dearest to me tasam me paurushi priya by creation itself they are very great so from this we can understand when we take a human birth lord is very much fond of human birth he respects us human so much jantu nam nara janma durlabham we are remembering that shloka atapam stum tato viprada tasmat daivi vaidhika marga parata the shloka goes tasa me paurushi why you like this human being so much it doesn't mean that he is not liking other living beings he likes all the living beings advaishta sarva bhutanam this was he is teaching in bhagavad gita okay is love for all the jivas are common but human being is very special why only krishna has to say special in our home nobody is telling that human being is special particularly my presence is not special in my own home i only built this people are enjoying i bring money nobody likes me <laughs> sir don't divert your point don't divert nobody is not liking means we are not behaving in that way to uh, create that kind of liking that's my this problem is with us so when you behave very nicely people will start liking us that's all. the point is human being is uh, great and they are dear to me why why human being is great atrama marga yanti adha yukta hetu bi ishwaram in human being only they can start searching me they can become seeker not in any animal janma or birds in human being only they can atrama marga yanti krishna says in 15th chapter of bhagavad gita ततः पदम तत्परिमार्गितव्यम ततः तत्पदम परिमार्गितम देयर आफ्टर असंग शास्त्रेण दृढेन चित्वा अश्वत्तमेनम सुविरूढ मूलम असंग शास्त्रेण दृढेन चित्वा ततः पदम तत्परिमार्गितव्य यू कट डाउन द संसार ऑफ ट्री डिटैच योरसेल्फ द वर्ल्डली एक्टिविटीज वर्ल्डली एफर्ट्स एंड यू स्टार्ट सर्चिंग मी ततः ततः देयर आफ्टर that there after means we, we must have done something what is we must have something what we have to, uh, to do something so we have to cut out cut our um, detachment asanga shastra asangam with a, with a weapon of uh, detachment we have to cut all our attachment tataha tat padam parimargitam then we have to start searching that truth very brilliantly he says in bhagavad gita they say atrama margayanti they start searching me they become seeker girhyamanaihi gunaihi lingaihi agrahyam anumanatah agrahyam it's very difficult to understand the ishvara agrahyam ishvara it's very difficult to grasp that truth how buddha lord buddha he went out of the home and searched the truth more than 5 years agrahyam ishvara anumanatah 
So Anumana and other Pramanas they use and they start searching. They become seeker. In human being only, they start seeking. Therefore, human being is greater. When you compare with other beings, devils are great, but human being is glorious. Okay, when we take this human being, human being generous, so we go into the samsara, we have to understand, we have to come back. A little, little experience is more than enough. We have to come back. Still, we have to continue. We, have, we should not continue. If children are not there, then we bring uh, two uh, dogs. So children, they have grown and they went out. The two dogs. Again, uh, the attachment continues. <laughs> you have a nice time. Start studying, reflecting. You're going to be engaging always with something. If, if I can finish this, I will engage with the other activity. So you have to come back. Atrava marga yanti. Atrapi Uda Harantima Midiha Sam Puradana, Udu the Samadam, Yado Amita Tejasa. I will tell you one Samadam. How you ought to get information or message or um, the, uh, knowledge. So I will tell you one Purana Idiyas. Uda Harantima Midiha Sam Puradana. The world uh, Idihasa means it happened like that. It's not the story I'm going to tell. It Idihas, this is Idihasam Puradana, it happened. Abadu thus a samadam yadoha amit yadu yaduraja nabaduta. There is a samadam between yaduraja nabaduta. These two people are talking. I know that I am going to explain this to you. So Krishna starts explaining the conversation between abaduta and yaduraja. Now, abadu dam didam dujam kanchit charantam akuto bayam kavim niriksha tarunam yadu papracha dharma vid. Yaduraja, once he went to forest. Yaduraja went to forest and he met Abhaduta, the sannyasi. Abhaduta sannyasi. He is roaming the forest without fear. Akutobaya. There is no fear. Simply is walking the forest. Animals are there. All wild animals. Even the wild animals, the climate is very bad in the, the deep forest. The rain everywhere and what the mosquitoes, flies. The poisonous, uh, what that? Insects, poisonous uh, plants also. Simply is roaming in the forest. Yaduraja, in those days, these people, uh, kings used to go to forest to hunt, to keep themselves always fit. Military training. The military training they were taking in the forest. Not keeping themselves quiet to eat and eat, eat and uh, sleep. They were very busy in those days. So hunting is a, uh, their training program. So when he went into forest, <coughs> he met one Avadhuta Sanyasi. Avadhutam Dujam Kanchatu Charantam Akudam. So he was moving in the forest. Kavim Niriksha. Kavim na, he is looking like a learned person. When we look at any person, we can understand hey, this person is a rich person, he is a learned person. We can guess. Ah, we can guess and understand. The first uh, the look, Kavim Nirikshya, the learned person. Tarudam is very young, not old. We have to understand after 60, only I am coming to Vedanta class. Eh? Eh? Now I am 65. I have some <laughs> work, family work. I will come after 70. What? After 70, first of all, you cannot sit one hour. Even if you sit, if, I, if the teacher says something, you hear something. Eh? Inside. Eh? Outside. Atma inside. Atma. Oh, Paramatma? Do you mean Paramatma? No, Atma. <laughs> this person says one thing, he hears other thing. All five sense organs are worn out. Mind is not in steady. Buddhi already gone. From the birth itself, very little buddhi. Now, after 70, it's gone. Bhagavad Gita is in the hand. Getting the old age, everything is worn out. So, while we start our life, okay, 20, 25, 30, there itself, you have to start by sight. The journey of spiritual. Both should go hand in hand. Tarunam. The young age only. 
so we have to know how to detach from the life in the in the um, what the young age itself otherwise no so attachment brings so much of problem depression disappointment worries crying attachment you love your children but they don't love you other problem how much love <laughs> from the childhood so much of sacrifice we have that you are not i'm not asking you to call me daily one message da one message you are not i want to know how are you there huh? i am okay this children they, they don't show you are showing attachment we are done say when they go out they will not give you any message they will not call if any problem then only they will call if 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 you get call you have to understand there is some problem or they need some money yeah. so you, <laughs> we have to learn how to detach how to understand all the psychological aspect philosophy also needed to lead very nice life okay so we understand after 70 after 60 i can go to spiritual life no no the spiritual personality spiritual thing also will should come hand in hand this is that, that philosophical uh, the points only can save us from depression depression is a very powerful uh, mental disease disappointment this i never uh, expected that this is from you more than 10 10 years we were great friends no sir even though 10 years 20 years you have friendship if something comes the situation creates this kind of problem you have to understand that human beings human being all negative positive will be there when we study this vedanta we understand the purva karma vasana purva janma vasana so we will not ask after 15 years this person created a problem so after 15 years only the the um, the bad bad vasana started sprouting other <laughs> i expected that's all so when you study the vedanta the philosophy anything happens and we are ready to face it so that kind of mental strength will come other simple simple thing will we will uh, start uh, what do you call complaining always talking about it you getting it so when we study vedanta this is human nature this will come you know how to handle it all kinds of human problems you know how to handle it why this is karma because we study karma karma theory we analyze this karma why this man is became like the pura karma vasana that's all so when they will get out so when they practice they will get otherwise we will suffer that's all why you are in the family our karma also connected with them so taruna this sanyas is taruna very young man in young age he has become what that kavi taruna dharmavit the dharmavit yadu papracha dharmavit the person the yadu dharmavit he started asking question to this young sanyasi avadhuta sanyasi avadhutam dujam kavim tarudam all the second guess akutobayam does this kind of avadhuta dharmavit yadu started asking question papracha okay the point is in the young age itself we out giving the message we should not think they are not listening even though they are not listening start giving it that's all yesterday i took 7th standard class 7th standard class the concept of uh, what do you call the nataraja concept of nataraja you start giving it that's all whether they understand or not you don't just uh, sow the seeds that will grow somewhere else okay if you very few students only will give it, will will have the taste most of the students will not have the taste but you start sowing it somewhere it will grow so the young age we, we have to get it so this young man moving the forest yadu asked the question yadu kutaha buddhi yam brahman akartuh suvisharada yama asadya bhavan lokam vidwan charati balavat see he started watching the sanyas and approach hey bhagavan hey swami you look so pleasant so happy and you are moving in this forest like balavat balavat charati vidwan i think you learned so many things and your your behavior is like bal small child like child 
childish is different childish is immaturity immaturity we call it childish is a child like balavat that means you are not taking anything seriously about the life balavat charati imam lok ya maasadya bhavan lok lokam charati kutaha buddhi yam brahman ho brahman how you are getting this kind of buddhi that means how you got the knowledge so that you are living in this world like a child not worrying about anything the child's nature will nature will not worry about anything so how you are moving i want to know the secret about it secret of your knowledge he noticed about the sanyasi avadhuta sanyasi started asking okay prayah dharmartha kameshu vivatsa vivatsayam cha manava manu manushya manava means all manushya they are very much interested in a dharma artha kama many people in this world they go to office all straight forward straight forward officer there is no corrupt straight forward dharma artha so he earns money kama so whatever wants to enjoy he enjoys life and some some people they don't follow dharma only artha kama in another way the other indirect way they find how to get money and they enjoy so dharma artha kama includes so is, is is corrupted or not corrupted both people are very much interested in dharma artha kama okay manava hetuna eva samihante ayushah yashashah shriya their life is completely going completely they spend life to get money and to enjoy life this is what i understood from the world i notice the world i observed the life of the people they go behind dharma artha kama and they get whatever they want in their life and spend their money they spend their time this is how life is going on outside the world but in here in the forest <coughs> you are moving like bala tumt kalp kavihi daksha subaga amrita bhashana na karta nehase kinchit jada unmata pishachvat when i notice you you are moving in this forest jada unmata pishachvat jata unmata pishach <laughs> these qualifications always given to uh, great saints jada means for whatever you tell they will not react jada tamasic people also will not react excuse me tamas is different extreme satvik is different okay so we should not understand this tamasic philosophy tamasic fellow you, you become jnani a tamas so both are looking same jada unmatta unmatta means for the mad person the activities are little different pishachavat pishach matta like that okay they are not pishachi they are not uh, mad and they are not uh, they know everything the behavior is like that on jada unmatta pishachavat tumt kalpa kavih daksha subaga amrita vashna you speak very sweetly you know everything so he started praising him you are such a great person you speak nicely you are moving this world you know everything and you behave like jada unmatta pishachavat balavat all the qualification he brought. so people are suffering outside you are living very happily here okay janeshu dahya manush kama loba davagrina they are behind dharma artha kama and always in their heart they have kama loba davagri the inside they are burning so in tamil we call it vaitarchal uh, agni agni means what they fire inside fire kama agni loba agni kama the desire is there lob i want to get more kama log loba agni na dahya maneshu they are burning inside na tapese agni na mukta ganga amasta iva dipa how elephant is there in the ganga river very in the cool enjoying the cool effect of ganga in the same way you are enjoying in this samsara you are enjoying samsara so very uh, what the, the cool effect of uh, samsara you are not uh, burnt by the agni of samsara what is agni kama loba in your heart if you have kama and loba so you will burn because you are not having kama and loba you are not burning your life is cool 
ಲೈಕ್ ಗಮ್ ಗಂಗಾ ಅಂಬ ಸೈವ ದೀಪ ಹೌ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕೂಲ್ ಗಂಗಾ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ಲಿ ಹಿಸ್ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ತುಂಬಿನ ಪ್ರಚ್ಛತಾಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಆತ್ಮನಿ ಆನಂದ ಕಾರಣ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಆನಂದ ಕಾರಣ ಆತ್ಮನಿ ಆನಂದ ಕಾರಣ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಟು ಮಿ ಹೌ ಯು ಆರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ದಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಆನಂದ ಆನಂದ ಕಾರಣ ಬ್ರೂಹಿ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ವಿಹೀನಸ್ಯ ಭವತ ಕೇವಲ ಆತ್ಮನ ಶಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ವಿತ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಯು ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ದ ಆನಂದ ಕಾರಣ ಯದು ರಾಜ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟೂಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಯದು ರಾಜ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟೂಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ಆರ್ ಅಬದೂತ್ ಹನಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಾಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೊ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಇವನ್ ದೋ ಯು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲಿವ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗ್ರೀಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ದೇ ಫಾರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೀಸನ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ why you want to know because if i know i will also can follow that and get anandam i try you tell me the formula because i have um, some and i have some i do not know how to solve it this sum needs this formula this formula apply this formula you solve the sum and you get answer the same this life is a uh, that mathematics formula no sum i do not have perfect formula to solve it you are already having it and enjoying it please you tell me i can solve my problem i enjoy ananda karanam burghi okay brahmana uvacha brahmana means here uh, one who knows brahman to so, brahmana uvacha okay says sandhi me guravo rajan bahu buddhi upashraya yatho upasitah yatho buddhi upadaya mukto atami ha tanusrunu i have so many gurus so many gurus taught me so many things learning everything then i liberated myself from the bondage and moving this forest happily how many gurus sir how you manage so many gurus the one guru to go to one class one guru to manage one guru is very difficult he's asking me to write down homework three weeks i didn't go asking me to memorize the shloka ಜಾತಿ ನೀತಿ ಕುಲ ಗೋತ್ರ ದೂರಗಂ ನಾಮ ರೂಪ ಗುಣ ದೋಷ ವರ್ಜಿತ ದೇಶ ಕಾಲ ವಿಷಯ ಅಧಿವರ್ತಿಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಭಾವಯ ಟೆನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಐ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ಕೇಪ್ಡ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಗುರುಸ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಮೈ ಗುರುಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಗುರು ನಾವ್ ಐಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಗುರುಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓಕೆ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಮುಪಾಶಿತ ಸೊ ದೇ ಟಾಟ್ ಮೀ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ನೈಸ್ಲಿ ಹಿಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಗುರುಸ್ ಮೈ ಗುರು ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬರಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ನೇಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಲ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಟಾಟ್ ಮೀ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಗುರುಸ್ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ವಾಯು ಆಕಾಶ ಆಪ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಚಂದ್ರಮ ರವಿ ಕಪೋತ ಅಜಗರ ಸಿಂಧು ಪತಂಗ ಮಧುಕೃತ್ ಗಜ ಮಧು ಹರಿಣ ಮೀನ ಪಿಂಗಲ ಕುರರ ಅರ್ಬಕ ಕುಮಾರಿ ಶರಕೃ ಸರ್ಪ ಊರ್ನಾಭಿ ಶುಪೇಶ ಕೃತ್ ಇಸಲ್ ವೈ ಗುರುಸ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅರ್ಥ್ ಏರ್ ಸ್ಕೈ ವಾಟರ್ ಫೈರ್ ಮೂನ್ all this a guru earth also guru and air also guru sky water fire moon okay now sun pigeon python sea moth honey bee elephant honey collector deer fish uh, pingala pingala girl sparrow small bird child can you see this is it visible the red color yeah the child girl <coughs> arrow maker serpent serpent sarpa snake spider and wasp when i was moving in this world i watched all these things so these people were teaching me some lesson of life i learned from this 24 24 gurus 
I learned from them one one lesson. Then I reflected. Then I meditated, released mukta. Interesting. Ah. Huh? So when we have that kind of buddhi, ready to receive lessons, that point. Supreme point. Buddhi upasrita. The thing is, nobody is teaching me. Please, you go and uh, um, or the take lesson from this uh, a fellow. See, even though somebody is behind us and they are inspiring, go and uh, learn lesson from him. Go and learn lesson from him. <clears throat> it's very difficult. How many parents in the home they are telling us learn, study, go to school, go to tuition, go to special class, go to learn. They are not. But even though nobody is uh, telling us go and learn, so when we have that kind of buddhi, very ready to receive the message from all over the world, all over the universe, there are so many things are going on. We we have to keep our buddhi always ready to receive. So that kind of buddhi is needed to get knowledge. <laughs> you getting one thing is a supplying. When you supply, the other the the, the fellow is what the rejecting it out. He is not receiving. When you have receiving mind, no need to have but that no need to get supply. If you are ready to receive, even though there is no supply, we know how to receive it. So here, this uh, Abhudu Gita <coughs> is teaching us. Instead of expecting uh, people to teach us, we have to create our mind or train our mind in such a way that receive message from all over the universe. Are you getting it? So how to train our mind, our buddhi, to receive information from any sides of the life? Then we learn the learning ability. Are ready to receive from any corner of the life. So this um, uh, um, the, uh, Avaduta received knowledge from 24 the gurus. So only 24 number is given here. Actually, we can keep the whole world as guru, numberless guru. Okay? Because we have to stop somewhere. Therefore, 24 guru is the, uh, the number is given. Otherwise, the the number will go like anything. To stop somewhere, therefore, 24 goods. In our life, no need to stop. Keep on learning from many things. Now, Yete me Gurava Rajan, Chatur Vimshati Ashirtaha. He says the number Chatur Vimshati, 24 gurus. Siksha, Vruti Vihi, Yete Sham, Anva Siksham, Iha Atmanaha. I learned myself. I looked at these people, I, I watched them. From their uh, activity, I learned this. Like this, 24 people taught me. Okay? Siksha vritti bihi, etesham, anva siksham, I was taught by this 24 people. I am going to tell one by one. Okay? This is the background. So, Yadu Raja met uh, Sanyas in the forest and he asked, people are suffering outside, you are enjoying your life. Tell me your Ananda Karada. Uh, Uddhava, this is a conversation between Yadu Raja and uh, Avadhuta. I am going to tell you. When you learn this, you know how to drop your attachment, start moving to Himalayas. Is it okay? This is the background. Now the real conversation between Yadu Raja and uh, Avadhuta is going to start now. Is it okay? Shall we start? You didn't start so far, huh? Yeah, introduction. I thought uh, you started. Abudu <laughs> Gita? Yeah, already started. So we are going to enter the 24 gurus. The background is needed. The beautiful thing is, the whole, um, I, I, I introduced, the introduction itself, I told that, Srimad Bhagavatam is written by Bhagavad Vedavyas. He's the author of a book. Great author. The whole content of the book, okay, the whole thing is conversation between Parikshit Maharaj and Sukadeva. Sukabrahma is teaching Parikshit. This is the content of Bhagavatam. Main conversation. In that main conversation of Sukadeva and Parikshit, Krishna comes, okay, next level. Krishna was teaching Uddhava. When he was teaching Uddhava, he says there was a teaching. 
Okay, there was a conversation between Yadu Raja and uh, um, uh, Avadhuta. Three layers of conversation. Yo, yo, I think Vedanta is a little easier than this. Vedanta talks about straightly the con concepts. That's a different, uh, uh, what do you call the setup. In Purana Idhika Sandal, who is telling who? That is very, very important. And we should not forget that conversation. The main conversation is between Yadu Raja and um, Avadhuta. Therefore, this is called Avadhuta Gita. Avadhuta Gita was discussed by Krishna to Uddhava. The whole thing is told by Sukhaparamarishi to Parikshit. Getting it or not? Ayo, yo. A nice packet. Nice packet of Purana. Now, just going to explain. What are the things we can learn? Earth, what is the thing we have to learn? From Earth, what, what are you going to learn? There is a lesson. Purthivi, Earth. This Earth is called Purthivi. Purthivi. The whole universe, of the Earth is called, not universe, Earth is a part of the universe. The Earth is called Purthivi. Why? Bhagavadam is giving the reason. There is a great king is called Prithu. Prithu Maharaj. Prithu ruled this earth. The whole earth is ruled by Prithu. So now, 350 years back, the British came to India and they told that in our uh, uh, Rajam, there is no sunset, there is no sunrise. We are going to make whole world as our Rajam. Okay? They told like that. Sir, Prithu ruled this world. Priyavrita made the seven continents. Seven continents, now we are studying the geography. Seven continents, the concept is made by um, 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 Priyavrita. He took his chariot and he made seven continents, our, our man. Prithu ruled the country, ruled the whole world. Therefore, the um, um, earth is called Prithvi. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, have, we have so many great kings. They ruled the whole world. Sitting in a Jambu Dweeba. Asia is their residing place. Sitting in Asia, they ruled the whole world. Almost all the kings ruled the whole world. Getting it? So when you study Purana, very glorious past we have. Okay. Prithvi. Prithu ruled. Therefore, Prithvi means that. From Earth, what is there to learn? Earth means what? The uh, symbol of patience. Hold on. We have to have patience in our life. Have some patience. Wait. I'll give you wait. So, Prithvi has got that kind of quality. Now, that quality is not discussed here. It's very interesting. So, so this is a general uh, value we hear about earth is not discussed. Then what? Another thing is discussed here. Prithi. Bhutaihi akramya manopi dhiro daiva vashanukaihi tad vidwan na chalet marga tanva siksham kshitehe vradam. Very nice uh, thing. Bhutaihi akramanyopi. Akram. Uh, akrama. Ak, akramanopi. Bhutai. So when we are walking in the world, when you are walking in the path, when you take some, when you select a path and we start walking. When we start walking, people are coming and disturbing us. Bhutahi akramanapu, akramana, akramanopi, akramanahapi, dhiraha, dhira. Daiva vashanukaihi. Daiva vasha means because of pura karma. When we take up some project, when we start moving in that line, because of our pura karma, people are coming and disturbing us. When people come and disturb, generally we get disturbed, we stop walking or we'll come back or we'll drop the project. This thing will happen. They will stop it or we start reacting to the people or we'll drop the project and we'll come back. Uh, just leave it. I don't want to take up this. People are disturbing me. The beginning itself, my father told, don't take it. Now only understood. <laughs> people are jealous of my project. I want to. I don't know. So we begin, <laughs> we get angry, we drop it. I don't know. 
We have seen many places. Bhutaihi akrama akrama anopi daiva vasana gaihi because of our pura karma. Dhiraha, dhira purusha. When we get problem in our life, tadvidva na chalet margat. We should not, chalet means we should not move from our path. We should not move from our path. We have to keep going. Keep going in that. Problem will be there. Problem will come. Keep going. Na vidwan chalet margat. Na margat vidwan chalet. We should not move. This is what I learned from Anvasiksham Kshithe Varadam. I learned this from Earth. What is the point? Point is okay, but how you learn from Earth? When you are walking in the path, people are disturbing you, you should not move. That's what I understand. How you are comparing this point with that? How? The point is here. Now see. Okay? This is the sun, okay? The sun. Sun only. So, keeping the sun as a center of attraction. All the planets are moving, okay? We studied this. All the planets are moving. Keeping the sun center. Sun is center. This third planet where we are living. Earth. So Earth is revolving itself and it's moving around the sun. Revolving and rotation, revolution and rotation, all the things we study in the science. It rotates. It revolves and it rotates. Okay. It's moving. So what is the path? Is there any path? Is there any tar road or railway track? It moves. So what is the path in which it moves? Brilliant. Le? Brilliant creation. It's not moving. Even one mm, if it goes, one mm, one millimeter, or okay, one inch. So one inch, this earth moves towards um, uh, sun. If one <laughs> inch goes near sun, first, Still, our hair will get burnt. First, all over the world, all people will lose their hair. Bus, something has gone. They're all <laughs> white. Skin will become black. All will become. That's that. Then slowly, slowly, every will, all will become burnt. Will be burnt. Simpler. Suppose the earth moves away from the sun again. Four or five layers of uh, the cloth and you'll be sitting like this one. If it goes near, if it comes out of uh, the, what do you call, the sun, what will be the reaction? Okay. At the same time, inter, inter of, uh, instead of 24 hours, it takes 36 hours. So if we go to office, we'll not come back. <laughs> earth started moving slow. It slowed down. 36 hours. Obvious. Are you? Eight hours is very difficult to stay in the office. Many people, they want to live in the office. Why? Family problem here. I will do overtime here. I enjoy office. Now problem comes. So work from the home. Are you? Are you? Already have problem in the home. So they are telling you, you work from the home. So sir, I come to office. So 24 hours is enough. 24 hours and sun, earth is not moving towards um, sun, not getting away from sun. Perfect distance, perfect timing. Okay? How it moves around the sun the same way. Okay? Even though we are getting a problem in life, we should not move from our the project or the path we have taken. This is what I learned from earth. Special uh, lesson. Special lesson. There are three kinds of people. Our uh, Bharadur Hari is discussing. One kind of person, he take up the project and problem comes, he will drop and run away. Other kind of people, they will take up if they come some of them. Before the problem, they will run away. First kind. Second, if two, three problems come, they will drop and go. Third kind of person. Pradihanya Maunopi. Pratihanya Marva, again and again, if they get the problem, Prarabdham na vimunchati. Whatever the, the, whatever the, object, the project they have taken, they will not give up. Third variety. 
So first variety, before the problem, they will go. After second variety, they will get few problems, they will drop. Third one, even though they get problems, they, they crash all kinds of problems, they move very successfully. So this is what I learned. So don't deviate from the path. It's a lesson I learned from the earth. Sir, you drive car on the road without any, no car is on the road. No car, only your car is very easy to drive. Now you have what the lanes, all cars are following you and many cars are going in front of you. They are to drive without touching these people. It's very difficult, like, little challenge. Suppose you drive in India, Bangalore, Delhi, Chennai. Why oh, Chennai? All the directions you get, vehicles, ah, challenge. <laughs> you should not drop and go. People are irritating. Ah, there you have to drive without hitting anyone. Any direction, you know, what the goat will come, buffalo will come, pig also will come. Ah, interesting. Auto will come, this is a cycle will come, bike will come. Ah, very interesting to ride, to drive. Okay, we should not get frustrated and drop and go away. So whatever the project we have taken, we will get from Bhūdaihi. Daiva Vashanagi, because our Pura Karma, Pura, our Karma, we will get the problem also, we should not drop. This is the first lesson I learned. Are you okay? This is the lesson, first lesson. Any project when you take, first we have to decide and we have to take. After taking up the project, we should not decide. I should not have taken this project. I, you, you. Many people told me. I didn't listen. That's why I get into problem. I, you, 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 you. Any, anything you take, problem will be there. Universal nature. Okay? We should not think that. We should not get uh, fed up with this. Yes. Crash it and move on. Anyway, I have taken Till last word, the, the final end, I will see. So that kind of lesson I learned from Earth. Okay? Now from Vayu, what I have learned from Vayu. So we'll see Vayu, then we'll finish it up. Okay? Vayu. Vishayeshu avishan yogi nana dharmeshu sarvataha gunadosha vipaveta atma na vishajjeta Vayu vatu. The air has got the ability, it will move from one place to another place. So air comes. There is no fragrance for air. It, it comes. Suppose it, it, suppose it goes to rose flowers. It takes rose flowers fragrance, okay? It will carry rose flowers fragrance to some extent. And after some, uh, or there some distance, it will drop. The, why you will drop the rose flower fragrance? So it travels. After some time, some or the dead animal, dead body, it carries a dead body what fragrance also. And after some time, it, 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 it what that, um, drops. Again, it, it goes to another place. Vishayeshu, avishan yogi, nana, dharmeshu, vishayeshu. So the person moves in the world. Nana, dharmeshu. This is this, that, this and that. Even the mind carries this and that. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Different kinds of uh, the experience we have. Guna, the, guna dosha vipayat atma. So guna will come, dosha will come to the mind. We should know how to drop gunam and how to drop dosham. Na vishajjeta vayu vatu. Like vayu, we have to train our mind. You getting it? Sometimes we watch some movie. So ghost movie. So just for ghost movie. Half an hour. Whole mind will occupy, the ghost will occupy the whole mind. Whatever we see, it looks like gold. The father comes. Ghost. Mother. Ghost. By 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, you watch the movie. You're getting it? Dosha. The mind is filled with this kind of. So after some time, after half an hour, you entertain people. You are getting some entertainment and completely that ghost of feeling goes. Again, other feeling comes. It is the nature of mind. So it, it takes and drops, it takes and drops. And we have to train our mind, even though we are completely influenced by this kind of that. We should know how to drop it immediately. We should not carry on. 
Are you getting the point? What happens in our life? Some bad experience we always carry. Good experience we always carry. Then whenever we get time, we'll bring that thought and we'll enjoy you like that. <laughs> Go now. A bad experience. Ayo. We have to train our mind in such a way that we should know how to drop it there itself. So that kind of lesson I have learned from Vayu. Not carrying anything. Sir, remembering is one thing, okay? Carrying and what's that? Suffering is another thing. Whenever it's needed, we remember the incident, we learn. That's all. But always thinking about it and what's that? Uh, carrying this uh, thought. The carrying the thought is called worries. I hope you are getting the point. Okay, always get. We, when, when we work, we will forget. After the work, we start carrying the thoughts and we will worry. So that kind of uh, thing we have to drop. We should know how to drop it. I learned that how to drop it from Vayu. So whenever we engage in an activity, we will get that kind of thought. When we move out of that, we should know how to drop there itself. Like Vayu. I hope you are getting it. Suppose we have five bad experiences, five bad experiences of this, uh, what the, the thoughts, we come, we sit and we start worrying on that five, that time wasted, energy wasted, and personality is getting collapsed, depression comes, all the things are coming. Many people all over the world, they do not know how to drop it, so we start carrying it, then problem comes. Eh? Very subtle idea, <laughs> how to drop it. Ah, we should train our mind in such a way that we can drop there itself. Drop it. Come on. Come out. How to do it? That is sadhana. That is called spiritual sadhana. First, we should know how we have to do like um, uh, what that uh, vayu. Now we should jet vayu. Like vayu, we should not um, uh, what that carry. So carrying the thoughts and entertaining the thoughts will bring the worries. So we have to learn how not to carry, how not to entertain. Okay? Oh, now in the family also, so five, six people are there and sitting and we're enjoying our nice time. And then one person starts, you know what happened that day? One person st starts a bad experience. Another person immediately, hey, drop it, I don't discuss that. Okay? Immediately, another person says, don't discuss that. So when, when the bad thought, when discussion comes, another person says, stop it, don't discuss. In the same way, we have to train our mind. Don't. Drop it. When we say outside, in the same way, we have to <laughs> tell inside the mind, drop it. So when we start training like this, we know how to come out. Or how to come out our worries. We can learn from Vayu. This is what I learned from Vayu. Therefore, I am not uh, worrying. This is Ananda Karanam. Therefore, I am enjoying life. I know how to drop the worries. How? Like Vayu. How you learned? I learned from Vayu. This is a formula. Vayu taught me. Subtle ideas. I hope you are getting the point. You are getting it? Subtle, subtle uh, lessons. Very subtle lesson. Why? So we have to um, contemplate on why. What's the value of the why? Why your ganda ni vashayat? Krishna also says why, how, why carries the ganda. But it's not keeping itself. It carries and drops. It carries and drops. I don't find. When we have experience, definitely we'll carry that. But you should know how to drop it. That's the value of why. You know, five, uh, um, the worries are started. Already five worries. Now, today, new one more new worry. So, at the same time, we carry ten worries. Now, see your face. Ten worries. See the face. We have all powder, lotion, everything, all decoration. But so, after makeup, if you are not worrying, you know how to drop it. Even though there is no makeup, face is prasannata. Even at, um, um, what's that, 
um, having any extra makeup, but you look so nice, so beautiful. How? Huh? Maybe I'm thinking about Brahman, therefore, ah, that is too much. Not thinking about Brahman, <laughs> you do not have worries. So, worry face is totally different from not worrying face. Okay? Therefore, this is Ananda Karana. So, second lesson he learned. We'll start learning <coughs> other things tomorrow. Okay? Now, subtle lessons. All subtle lessons. So, we should not say that I, I, I know this, I know this. I know, I know. All 24 gurus, I know. So, knowing is different. Reflecting upon that and learning is different. Applying it. It's a secret of life. Nobody knows that. So, how you are not able to carry the worries, you tell me. Audhu the Gita, that's all. Second guru. I learned from Vayu. How to drop it. How to drop a great, great quality. Okay? Say how not to, so some great things you should not have. Unnecessary thing only we have to drop. Are you getting it? Unnecessary worries. I learned everything, all the knowledge, whatever I learned, I dropped it. <laughs> what? Not to drop. That is the important. So knowledge we have to keep, not to drop. Worries are Keep your mind like air. Like when it goes, it moves. Like the person we move in the world, we get so many bad things. So just I tell you, for example, very practically, when we are driving, we see some accident on the road. So before we see the accident, we are so happy. <laughs> we sing and we enjoy the way when we saw this accident. The man died. <laughs> different feeling occupied our mind. Will you agree with that? Totally different feeling. And we started thinking, oh, you, you, all kind of bad thinking starts. Before uh, we were seeing this accident, very happy. After seeing the accident, totally, completely silent. There is no sound. <laughs> they started carrying that thought. Two, three days, that thought will be there. So we have to uh, what that notice our nature, our mind. Hey, this thought is there. You know what is going to happen? That will happen in our life. So we should know how to drop it and move forward. The next thought. It's very difficult. What happened is very difficult. But you should know how to drop it. That's all. Hey, accident. That's all. So what we can do. You can the same sound after seeing the accident, just two, three minutes, it should be there. <laughs> the same sound will come, start moving. And now we learned how to uh, live like Vahyu. Are you getting it? Uh, otherwise, one accident will carry. Two, three days, that accident will not move around. The accident, that's also what we can do. We have come to this world, one day something will happen, we also should get out from the world. That's all. So that kind of knowledge will bring this kind of lightness in our mind. Then we know how to drop it. The great art. So this lesson I learned from Vayu. Practical lesson. So all the lessons what we are going to learn from Navadhuta Gita, everything is highly practical. People will disturbing you. Don't get disturbed. That's all. Earth. The experience will come. We should know how to drop it. Vayu. Everything is very practical life. Practical points, formula, okay? So tomorrow we'll see other things. I will be able to complete this in three days. Actually, we, we used to have five days. I do not know. One day is missed. If it is possible, we will extend one day, okay? If it is okay. If we are not able to complete, then one day we can extend. We will see how it works. Anyway, we are going to complete this. How do the Gita? You are all very nice students, listening very nicely, not sleeping. Good. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. So I'll do Shanti Pardam, then we'll have question and answer for a few minutes, okay? Om Purnamadaha, Purnavidam, Purnat, Purnamadachate, Purnasya, Purnamadaya, Purnameva, Vasishate, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.
हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम हरि ओम हरि ओम स्वामी कैन यू हियर मी दोस्तों वांट टू टेक रेस्ट प्लीज गो एंड टेक रेस्ट फॉर बिक्स यू टुमारो यू कैन वी मे हैव ऑफिस एंड ऑल इफ यू कैन स्पेंड देन स्पेंड अ फ्यू टाइम्स फ्यू मिनट्स ओके यस स्वामी जी tomorrow 7:45 our time that is 6:15 uh, swami ji's time in the morning there okay. 6:30 uh, ist india time yes swami ji last time what we did hari hari om swami ji can you hear me yeah 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 the last okay. time last time last time we did a uh, 15 minutes bhajan followed by one hour discourse and 15 minutes question and answer followed thank you hari om yeah हरिओ कैन अदर पीपल हियर मी यस यस थैंक यू स्वामी जी कैन यू हियर मी आई बिलीव स्वामी जी गॉट डिसकनेक्टेड ऑफ एवरीवन एल्स दो कैन यू प्लीज जॉइन अस टुमारो एट 7:45 पीएम ईस्टर्न टाइम यूएस and uh, we'll do 15 minutes of bhajans and then one hour uh, discourse by swami ji also swami ji was planning to do 15 minutes of quest of uh, uh, question and answer at the very end swami ji might come back because he loses connection sometimes he says don't disconnect i'll come back so that may have what has happened probably for him no problem we'll wait for swami ji a couple more minutes although it is past the scheduled time of the discourse in any yeah. event so is correct oh hari om swami ji ah uh, yes yes hari om hari om swami ji so uh, tomorrow yes. we'll follow the same uh, time schedule uh, okay so it is at uh, 7:45 eastern standard time uh, for us here 7:45 hmm. to 8 p.m. Uh, we do bhajans. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Swami ji's discourse, and hmm. followed by 15 minutes of Q&A. Okay. So this time, why you you have this four days? Um, the the reason Swami ji is uh, the week before was Thanksgiving, and so that Sunday okay, to start people. it, a uh, lot of people will be out of town. We did not want to start uh, uh, on okay. that day. Uh, but if uh, Swami ji can extend one more day, that will be great. Uh, but I thought Swami ji. So today I, I wanted to finish six, but only two I can. I could finish. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, so my lesson plan is not completed today. <laughs> sure, Swami ji, we can extend by one more day. That uh, will be. I awesome. will try to finish in uh, five days, four days. Then otherwise we can. We'll see that. Okay. Sure. The Swami. point we have to understand that, sir. Yes, Swami ji. Practical points, that sir. Yeah. Well, mostly i'm not uh, taking all the subject very traditionally we have to do it for a day to day life <laughs> yeah traditional text but we have to extract the thing for our day to day life also yes swami ji so i guess today no one has questions questions huh? today it looks like no one has any questions uh so we can start the q and a session starting tomorrow after swami ji's discourse we can give 15 minutes sir you are all very complete students no questions <laughs> complete are you can you get the recording of the lecture can you get the recording of the lecture sure uh, we will definitely provide the recordings as uh, at the end of uh, all, the, all the discourses so okay thank you so much thank you thank you thank you much thank you so much thank you everyone for attending we'll see you tomorrow at uh, 7:45 eastern standard time again for bhajans thank you
हरिओम स्वामी जी कौशल लगाया कुछ